On a rainy night in Syracuse, it's a 1-1 tie between Syracuse and Yale. Yale's first game ends in a draw. Hi everybody, Jonathan Hoppy along with Ian Toner. An odd game tonight. A lot of whistles, a lot of fouls. At the end of the day, it ends in a tie. Neither team could really establish a rhythm, establish continuity. Yale had a great push early in the first half, but it was all Syracuse attacking after that. Here are the highlights in the game. Attic on the ground, loose net. Tronofilu takes advantage. Burying a loose ball opportunity. And here, once again, we see a replay of the Syracuse keeper just too aggressive, trying to cut down the angle, staying exposed on that backside. Then to overtime, after Mish made a mistake, this is the first chance for Yale. A number of chances then for Syracuse, but this one at the end of the second overtime, Archimede thought he had won it, but he was offside. The service from Sondheim into Farron and that touch from Farron had Archimede in an offside position. Shots, a big advantage for Syracuse. Corners, a massive advantage as well, but where it counts, a 1-1 game tonight. The story after the Binghamton game. Coach McIntyre said if he had to be critical anywhere, he would have loved his team to bury more opportunities and bury them earlier. Again, Syracuse had all the opportunities in the world. You see the disparity in shots and corners, and all they're able to muster is a single goal. The Orange are 1-1-1 one, one, and one after three games. The next one coming up on Sunday against New Hampshire. They look to bounce back and get back in the win column. You can find that game on ACC Network.